What is the best question someone asked in sex ed? If I am in a hot tub with a guy and he ejaculates, can I get pregnant? Teacher no. Okay what if I am in a hot tub with 50 guys and they all ejaculate at the exact same time, then can I get pregnant? Teacher what? So the sex ed teacher told us that after a vasectomy a guy still has something like 80 loads still active in him. My buddy looks over at the other teacher and says ah, I can knock that out in a weekend, we lost it. I went to a Catholic, all boys, high school. We used to have sex ed taught to us by our gym instructor who was also a football coach. He used to leave a question box on his desk and anyone that wanted to ask an anonymous question could write it on a piece of paper, fold it up and put it in the box. At the beginning of every class he would randomly select three questions out of the box to read. We had all sorts of the normal questions can girls get pregnant from anal? How old should I be before I have sex? But the best instance is when he pulled a paper out and read. Without hesitation sir, you are cute. Class died laughing. Teacher, so all mammals have nipples, but the ones on men are basically superfluous. Now, mammals do not always have two. Dogs, for example, have seven. Student, raises hand oh, is that why they can hear so well? Stun silence, this is real life. This is also the stupidest thing I have ever heard anyone on this planet say. He was also wrong on the number of dog nipples. The only mammal with an odd number of nipples is the Virginia possum, with 13. Edit since everyone and their mother think I am mistaken. It is very common to have accessory or supernumerary nipples. Some men have three or four just like some dogs have an odd number. But a standard odd number only occurs in this mammal, you know. I had to look this up once because I thought, wait, is not seven an odd number? Turns out the number varies, is typically eight or ten. But occasionally seven and nine show up. A friend of mine asked if he could eat cheese while having sex. The teacher just looked at him, paused for a bit, contemplated what she had done wrong her whole life to have reached that precise moment and told him yes. Was not in sex ed, but maybe it was asked because we did not have it at my Catholic school. Psychology teacher does anyone know what a Freudian slip is? Student uh, is not that when the penis slips into the girl's butthole on accident. When I was in 7th grade sex ed one of the female teachers jokingly said that they wanted to sew up their daughter's vagina to keep them from getting pregnant. My response was to raise my hand and ask, but how will they pee? One of the most popular girls in the grade responded, wrong hole, and that is how I learned that girls have three holes, men have two. This was an auditorium discussion with my entire grade of 300-ish people. I spent the next five years with them, never came up. But I have never forgotten. I like to think I helped all the other guys realize something. You were on the right track though. How would they menstruate? Would have been pretty right on. In the cultures where they actually do this to young women yeah, I know. They have to leave a bit of an opening for menstruation to avoid death from sepsis. You may not want to know any more details about this. But look up infibulation if you do. It is a pretty reprehensible practice. But surprisingly widespread. Last semester, my financial management teacher was also the sex ed teacher. He was going through the questions and answers he had on his computer while our class was working on some finance project. His computer was connected to the smart board. I briefly looked up from my paper and saw on the smart board what is penis. It was pretty hilarious when everybody saw it while they totally were not expecting it cause it was finance class. Teacher anytime semen enters the vagina. The woman is at risk of pregnancy. Kid what if she is on birth control? Teacher there is still a risk. Kid what if you're having sex and then you released your semen into one girl's mouth and then she passes it into another girl's mouth and then they spit it into each other's vaginas? Can they both get pregnant? Teacher. Not a question, but our vice principal came in to talk to us and the extent of his safe sex talk was that he washed his dick in the sink before sex, which none of us really needed to know. In fourth grade they separated all the boys and girls into two separate classrooms for the all talk. They presented some diagrams. Obviously there were chuckles around the room and questions were asked like how did Freddie Mercury die? After they realized that many of the students thought the entire escapade was a joke, 
Our teacher asked us to write down any additional questions we might have and to pass them forward. I am guessing as to not waste time entertaining us street smart children. The first question read aloud what's a boner? I will never forget this kid that always got picked on immediately sighed and embarrassingly exclaimed I did not know you had read IT out loud. Shit was so classic. Our teacher did this that is have us write down our questions on little bits of paper. First question she picks up to read says why are my periods green? She dropped the piece of paper and knew immediately one of the boys wrote it, and sent a few of them out of class until she could get one of them to own up to it. We all thought it was hilarious she actually read it out aloud to the class before realizing what she was reading. I actually got something. In class we were going over the sperm and the journey to the egg, and one of the reasons the sperm has difficulty to accomplish that was due to the acid inside the vagina. So I raised my hand and asked, well if the vagina has acid why don't girls fingers get burned off? The whole class started laughing and the teacher which was a guy had to catch his breath. And that's when I learned about chemistry and the different levels of acid and base. In HS my sex ed teacher was talking about the different ways people have sex, and she got to oral, she went on to tell the class that men s ejaculate is a mixture of proteins and sugars. My classmate asked so is it like, sweet, my teacher was half a second from answering today I learned she got red she was a fairer skinned black lady in the face and just chose to not answer at all. Boy I'd have died if she did though. It was STD day in our sex ed class really scare us into abstinence. The teacher passed around pictures of affected genitalia. One picture in particular sparked the question from one of my classmates. View. What turned this one black? The guy who had just handed it to her explained for everyone to hear Haley. That is a black guy a stick. Is it okay to let my buddy use the same condom after I do? This is the question that should have been asked before a kid actually did it and was later stuck with a child support case with his buddy's girlfriend. The story has heard it two young couples were having a good time with their sows but only had one condom. The first guy safely finishes the deed with his girl then gives the used rubber to his buddy who turns it inside out and proceeds with his girl. Safe. Right. Edit clear up that buddy one is the one that got stuck with the case. Yes. Paternity test. We had this mildly autistic kid in our class, super happy nice upbeat and everything always volunteered a really nice kid. During class when we were being taught how to put a condom on and the instructor asked for a volunteer, no surprise he volunteers, he saunters up to the front grabs the condom starts to unwrap it and asks so do I eat it now, and moves to put the condom in his mouth. The instructor was like no Aaron please put it on the banana and very visibly trying to hold back a laugh. He forces it on backwards, blows out the other side of the condom and walks back to his seat with the ripped condom on the banana and keeps it for the rest of class while everyone tries their hardest to not to fall into hysterics. The teacher took it back at the end of class. Kid why do people make noise moan while, you know, teacher why do people go mmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
this lead to a lot of situational questions such as you said anal is not okay, but what if you finish in the vagina, or if I come in her mouth but my pre-cum gets her pregnant, is that okay? At an all-boy military Catholic school, the goal was to see how far we could push the priests. What happens if you take a piss while it is in? I remember my professor giving my classmate the biggest are you ducking kidding me? Look in response. More like the best answer, the teacher talking about puberty asked the class something like what changes happen to a boy when he reaches his teens, to which one kid answered he throws his Lego set away. Teacher asked let us have a moment for discussion. What are some questions you have always wanted to ask the other sex? Really popular. Pretty girl asks, what is swamp ass? One of the hick kids in the class who never participated in anything raises his hand smiling his ass off. Teacher points to him and says Alex, would you like to answer that? Alex responds with, and loudly I must say, ITS when your asshole sweats. Edit there is more Alex stories. Edit I have not forgotten, I am just out with the GF for a bit, I am so happy you guys want to hear more stories about Alex, there are plenty, I hope you guys get to laugh and enjoy him, because unfortunately there is a sad ending to this story, edit Alex is not racist is up, thanks to everyone for your replies, I try to get to everyone, I plan on keeping up in this thread with the stories, thank you also for the writing help, I do not care about karma. I just want you to hear about what a great and funny human being he was. The next story Alex saves my ASS is one of my favorites. Please reply letting me know if you want to hear about it. Sex ed in the late 60s, 6th grade, we were clueless. You learn about what happens in the woman, what happens in the guy, nothing about how they interact. Finishing the course, teacher asks if anyone has a question. Nerdiest guy but brilliant as a PhD today asks, but how does the sperm get into the woman? Teachers lose it so hard that we started laughing but we did not really know why. Minutes later after the teachers composed themselves, they said that is called sexual intercourse the first time I had ever heard the term. Best student answer from when I was in middle school talking about STDs or something. Sex educator which group of people is most commonly associated with anal sex? Kid the elderly. So my high school had anonymous questions every class or so. This consisted of people writing down questions, well, anonymously, and the teacher would read them aloud the next class and answer them. However, being high schoolers, some most were a little off, is a solid kick to the stomach a viable method of abortion. If I am caught masturbating during a test, does that count as cheating? Why did God make me gay? Is a Snickers wrapper an appropriate substitute for a condom? This was read by a visiting expert on birth control. Have you ever gotten a Cleveland steamer while riding a train through Cleveland? Damn, high school could suck but I sure miss it sometimes. Maybe not the best question, but the best answer some kid in my class asked why a penis was called a dick, and the teacher answered, because Richard was too formal. We had a box that everyone could write questions on a piece of paper and the teacher would read them to the class so it was anonymous. One of the questions was can you get pregnant from swallowing I am sure the original question said come but he said semen. Immediately a girl towards the back of the room began to slouch in her chair. Her face got red and her boyfriend all of a sudden got a huge smile on his face. In sex ed, our teacher had an anonymous question box, where the kids could ask a question, and the teacher would then read it aloud and answer it. My friend and I always entered insane questions, and signed them with our other friend's name we will call him Tom. The teacher never read nor answered them, so we had to revise our writing strategy to where the questions were still crazy, but slightly believable. Fast forward to the big day, teacher takes out the slip of paper, reads it to herself, then says to the class whenever we are all showering, I notice that my dad's wiener is way bigger than mine, will it ever grow or just stay tiny forever? She looks right at Tom and says something like your time will come. And my friend and I are just sitting there, struggling to stifle our laughter, red in the face with tears streaming down our faces. Too long didn't he read convinced our teacher that our friend showered with his family. Hilarity ensues.